Okay, greetings one and all, and welcome to day number three. Yes, day number three, week. This has to be week four, fall 2024 of our journey together. That's day number three, week four, fall 2024 of our journey together. And it's definitely a delight to have each and every one of you here for this afternoon's class. Um, let's begin by heading up. Okay, so let's head up. So today is, well, my name is Mr. Petit. Um, today is Wednesday. Now on Wednesday, what subject do we have on Wednesday? English. English. So we do English on Wednesdays. Um, the subject is, of course, English language. That's what we'll be doing. So the subject is English language. And today we're gonna be doing a, another reading comprehension exercise. So reading comprehension. Excuse me, Mr. Petit. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. When we're doing the reading comprehension and like the story, do we have to write the story or just look at the story and get our answers? Oh. Okay, you'll see. You just we got, we're gonna read the story together as a class, and then I'm gonna put it in, in the chat. So anything you have to write is the questions and the answer. Okay. Yes, sir. That's good. Uh, excuse me, Mister Petit. Mm -hmm. We have I have, I got one hundred on my spelling test today. A one hundred percent. Yes, sir. That's very good. Keep it up, okay? You hear me? Yes. Keep it up. That's very good. Me too, Mister Mati. Yeah, let's yeah let's spell and test. Yeah, let's spell and test as well. Um, Najara. Me too. It doesn't seem Me too. It doesn't seem school. Oh. Also. I did not know that Najara and um. Ashley. Tajane, y'all go to the same school? Yep, same class. Yes, sir, we're in the same class. That is not, wow, I did not know that. I did right not. next to each other. <laughs> uh, um, Najara, is that true? Yes, sir. Wow. Wow, I did not know that. I would have never guessed. What island are you on? Abaco. Abaco. Uh, Abaco. A grand key. Okay. I did not know that. I did not know that. I did not know that. Have you all ever visited um, NASA before? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My dad lives there. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So we're going to begin with vocabulary words. Um, the first word, I'm going to let you all guess, it begins with S. That's the first word that begins with S. Substantial? Substantial? Huh? Substantial? No. Substantial? Nope. S Y. No. S Y. Synchopedia? Shy? Nope. I'm trying to Nope. When that, you want to try? S Y. System? Would you say, Edwin? System. System? Okay, system is close. Syllables? S Y M. Syllables. Symbol. 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 Symbolism. Symbolism. Symbolize. Symbolism. Symbolism. Very good. Symbolism. Symbolism. Okay. Symbolism. Now, when we say symbolism, what does that mean? Religion. So, represent something. Exactly. Who said that? Me. Very good. So symbolism is when we use symbols to represent um, ideas or qualities. For example, um, if you see, let me show you a symbol and you can tell me what you think it means. So, so we use symbolism all the time. Um, it could be a color, it could be a shape, it could be um so let me show you so write this down for me please symbolism is when we use 
symbols to represent ideas or qualities. All right, that's what we mean. So, symbolism. Me yes, go ahead. So it can be like colors. It could be colors. Yeah, it could be colors. It could be colors. It could be, um, for example, white is typically associated with things that are pure. Um, a dove represents purity and innocence, right? Um, is it like a map with the key? Say it again. Yeah, we is also. Is it like a key on the map? Yeah, we, you, that's that's symbolism in that symbolism in so in um science. Um, you use the map with the key. Now, if you see, let's say you 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 have a you have a, some chemical and on the label it has um this skull. What does that mean? Uh, danger is high. To their Excuse me, sir. That, that means it's dangerous, Caution, right? Sir? That means it's dangerous, right? That means that if you drink it, what's gonna happen to you? You're gonna die. die. You're exactly. gonna die. Exactly. You might pass out. Exactly. Uh, right? Excuse me, sir. Go ahead, Brandon. Brayden, sorry. It's Mario. It's who? Maya. Oh, Maya. I'm mistaken. You go ahead, Maya. Um, your screen is black. My screen is, is it still black? Yes, sir. Uh, let me stop sharing and share again. How about now? I can see it now. Good. So symbolism, read the definition of symbolism, Asia. Symbolism, the use of, of symbols to represent ideas or qualities. Very good. Very good. So if you're holding, let's say you're holding a, if you're holding a, something inside the pantry and you see this symbol, what does the symbol mean? Flammable. 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 Yes, it's flammable, right? That means that you don't want to have any fire next to it. And we still go there. And be careful. Alcohol. The so, alcohol um has that on it. Okay, yeah, alcohol, yes. Okay, so symbolism. Go ahead, legacy, read the definition of symbolism. Symbolism, the use of symbols to represent ideas or qualities. Very good. The use of symbols to represent ideas or qualities. Maya read symbolism, the definition of symbolism. Symbolism. The use of symbols to represent ideas or qualities. Very good. And um, Najara, read the definition of symbol symbolism. Symbolism. The use of symbols to represent ideas or qualities. Very good. And we use symbols a lot. We use symbols in math. We use symbols in science. Um, we use symbols in... Even in social media, we use symbols. Um, Excuse me. Uh huh. Go ahead. Do we use them in English? We yes, yes. You use them in writing, right? Right. So you use symbolism in writing, writing to help to the reader to see things and imagine it. You know. So even even you look at um, yes, sir. even you look at the cross sign, that's typically used for represent Christianity or if you have like a heart a heart sign typically represents like love or affection and the, the smiley face represents happiness or friendly um, and even when even in traffic light the traffic light represents um, well stop go going slow down the, the stop sign yeah and then all, you also have um you also have, um, anyone know what the peace symbol is? The peace symbol. Pardon? The peace symbol. The this peace. one or the other one with the broken, the broken cross? Yeah, you could do it with your hand. You could do it with your hand, like the two fingers. And then, this? yeah, that's the peace symbol. And then this is also the peace symbol as well. So that is symbolism. That looks like a broken cross. 
Excuse me, Mr. Petit. Uh huh. Go ahead. I also have a vocabulary workshop book. That is that is great. I like I like I love those books. Very good book. I really love those books. Okay, next word. Um, let's go with C. Oh. O. It's an easy word. Comprehension. Sorry, no. sorry, sorry. N. N. Conscious. T. Content. Content. R. Continent. No, country. 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 Control. <laughs> Control is a good is a good guess. When at A. Contribution. Contrast. 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 Very good. Contrast. Contrast. Excuse me, Mr. Batiste. Uh huh. That word is one of my spelling words, but I have for this week. Contrast? Yes, sir. Excellent. Does anyone know what contrast mean? To spot the difference. To spot the difference of between two different things. Very good. To identify the difference. Very good. Does it mean by contrast? Two different things are different. So to show the obvious difference between two or more things. So let's write down that definition. The definition of contrast. Go ahead, um, Brandon, read this definition. To show an obvious difference between two or more things. Very good. And Wynette, can you read the definition of contrast? To show an obvious difference between two or more things. Very good. Legacy. Read the definition of contrast for me. Excuse me, Mr. Petit. Huh? You forgot to make T a capital letter and put the full stop. Oh, okay. Thank you. To show. All right. Legacy. Contrast. To show an obvious difference between two or more things. Very good. And Gianna? Contrast. Read the definition of contrast for me. To show an obvious difference between two or more things. Very good. And Maya, what, is, what do we mean by contrast? Contrast. So contrast, it means so like, to show what's different from something uh -huh. from two or more things. Very good. Very good. Very good. Do y'all have this written down yet? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Good. All right, this next one is going to be a long word. M. Motivation. O. Montrosity. N. <laughs> o. Monopoly. Monopoly. <laughs> oh, Annette. <what that? laughs> yeah. What else? Mono. Monstrosity. Monstrosity. <laughs> Go ahead. Monogram. No. G. Uh huh. Can I get a next one with my Montgomery? That's not about you. Can no A. Mongolia. Y'all quiet now. What happened? Grace, what happened? Why are you so quiet? Monogation. M. No. Mono gambling. No. Mono gamation. Gamation. Only three more letters. Game money. O. Mono gaming. Only two more letters. N E. U. Only one more letter. Y. No S. Only one more letter. Mono gamer. E, S? There's only one. Who said S? 
Who said Mama S? Mama more? S, yes, S. How do we pronounce this word? <laughs> Close. Monogamous. Close. Monogamous. Who said that? Me, Monogamous. Maya. Maya, say it again. Monogamous. 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 Anyone ever had a word before? Monogamous. No, we saw. No. No. Monogamous. Monogamous, monogamous just mean it comes from when you see mono, mono means one. So mono monogamous means that you have one one person. Like you say, when persons are married, they're married to one person. That's like monogamous, right? They're in a monogamous relationship. One. Right? Monogamous. So that's what we mean by monogamous. Monogamous mean having only one mate at a time and, or involving one person at a time. Okay, that's what we mean by monogamous. Go ahead, Tajane, read the definition of monogamous. Monogamous, having only one mate at a time, involving marriage to one person at a time. Very good. Very good. And Grace, read the definition of monogamous. Grace, read the definition of monogamous. I can't hear from Grace. Grace, we can't hear you. Um. I don't think her mic is working properly. Okay. Um, Najara? Can you read the definition of monogamous? Monogamous. Having only one meal at a time. Involving marriage to one person at a time. Very good. Monogamous. All right? Just one. All right? So if you only have one friend, you all do have a monogamous relationship. Um, if you are married to only one person, it's monogamous interaction there. Okay, next word. A begins with A. A, B. Excuse me, sir. Uh -huh. Yes. Grace said in the chat that she said something in the chat. Uh, I think my mic is working. That's what she oh. said. Okay, Grace, log on, log off, and log back, log back in, Grace. Log off and log back in. Okay, A E R. Error. <laughs> no error is with an E. A E R. Oreo. Oreo. Wait, what you said? Who said that? Me. Ariel. Yeah, Ariel. Ariel. What does now we're not talking about Ariel from the movie. I spelled differently. Um can you ask us? I think I, can, I know. Can you have you me? mean an aerial view? Aerial view, yes. I mean like aerial view. Yes. Like like it's like from end to air? Yes, it's like from end to air, yes. So aerial means it relates to the air, like so if you have an aerial view, that means that you have a view from the air. Like you could see things from not from like face to face or 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 like on the ground. Like you have a topical view of the environment, right? So you're able to see it. It's kind of like if you were in a anyone ever been in an airplane before? Anyone ever been in an airplane? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Anyone scared of airplane? No, no one's scared. No, so. I, I get, I yes, get so. very sick. Okay, you ever look? You ever look? You ever look outside of the airplane? 
Yes. And yes. I love to look outside. Yes, sir. Yeah. I love to go by the window. Yeah, so when you look outside uh, of the airplane to the window, you see that view of everything down. That's an aerial view because you're in the air, all right? So that's what I mean by aerial. So aerial refers to uh, something that's existing, happening, or operating in the air. Now, which animal do you think has aerial view all the time? Bird. 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 Birds. Yes, birds. Eagle. Eagles and falcons and all those um, birds that could fly, they have aerial view all the time. Anyone ever wish they could fly? Me. Me. Only one person? Me. What did you say? Anyone ever wish they could fly? Me. Me. No. <laughs> no? I believe I oh. could fly. Okay, aerial. What does aerial mean, Grace? Can you read it? Read the definition of aerial. Aerial. Existing, happening, or operating in the air. Very good. And can you hear me? I could hear you much. I could hear you now. Okay. And Grace, what do we not Grace? Legacy. What do we mean by aerial? Existing, happening, or operating in the air. Very good. Very good. And when at, what do we mean by aerial? Existing, happening, or operating in the air. Very good. Um, Joel, you don't know wish you could fly? I said I did. I said I do wish. Oh. How about you, Tiana? Yes, yeah, sir. You do wish you could fly. Okay. All right. Me too. You too? Yeah. Okay, cool. Especially for teleportation, but you can enjoy the ride instead exactly. of just how you're going down. Yeah, that's true. That is true. That is true. That is true. That is true. All right. Um. Now, last word. This one, I think y'all will get this one. I really do think y'all will get this one. C. Oh. Composition. What you say? Composition. Oh, close. Oh. Comprehension. And. Contracts. S. Wait, no, we already did that one. Concept. E. Consent. Consent. Consideration. 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 V. Consideration. 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 Conservation. Very good. Conservation. I knew I was going to get this one. Conservation. Very good. Um. So everybody know what conservation is, eh? When you say it? Yes, sir. Yes, and you try to save for the future environment um, and try to save the planet. And when you try to save the, um, save the planet or save the things that are in it. So that means that you don't litter and all that stuff. And you use your electricity and stuff wisely and stuff like that. That's all that is a part of conservation, all right? So, Let's give, you the, let's give you the actual definition of conservation. It's the longest definition that we have. And I need Tajani to read the definition of conservation. Conservation, the prevention. Conservation, the prevention, prevention of wasteful of a resource or the preservation, prote protection, or restoration of the natural environment and wildlife. So we say restoration and we say preservation. Okay, so read that again. The prevention of wasteful use of a resource or the preservation, preservation, protection, or restoration of the natural environment and wildlife. Thank you. And go ahead, um, Brandon, read the definition of 
conservation conservation the prevention of wasteful use of a resource or the prevent or the the preservation 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 protection or restoration of the natural environment and wildlife very good and when I had to read the definition of conservation the prevention of wasteful use of a resource or the preservation preservation protection or restoration of the natural environment and wildlife. Thank you. And this word is restoration. Restoration. Um, legacy. Read the definition of conservation, please. Conservation, the prevention of wasteful use of a resource or the preservation, protection, or restoration of a natural environment and wildlife. Very good. So we have five words. I'm gonna go to each of y'all and I want y'all to tell me which one is your favorite word and why. We can start off with Maya. Maya, which one is your favorite word and why? What are the five? Um, my favorite word would be conserv conservation because the meaning it just um it the meaning it just makes me feel good that conservation means that we're saving the planet and the world for the future um people. Okay. Okay. So she said conservation. Um and Najara, what's your favorite word? What are the five? I like conservation also because I love natural stuff and I like that we're keeping stuff the same too and the protection and all wasted stuff and we could use it over again. Okay. And Grace, what's your favorite word out of the five? Your mic is your mic is muted. Well, Grace, we cannot hear you. Um, Joel, what's your favorite word of the five? Joel? Ariel. Um, speaking to the mic. Ariel. Why? Because it's basically observation. Ob observing something without you being seen, but because you're in the air. Okay, very good. Um and Asia, what's your favorite word? Conservation. Conservation, why is that? Because I like nature. Because you like nature. Wynette, what is your favorite word out of the five? Symbolism. Symbolism, why is that? Mm, I just like symbols. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, that's good. And Brandon, what's your, Braden, what's your favorite word? My favorite word is contrast because I like to tell the difference between things. Mm, contrast. Okay. That's different. Gianna, what's your favorite word? Out of the five? Ariel. Ariel, why? Because I just want to fly. You just want to fly. And legacy, what's your favorite word? Monogamous. Monogamous. Hmm. Why? Because you, because it's like basically focusing on one thing at a time. Mm, okay, love it. And Tajane, what's your favorite word out of the five? Tajane, where's Tajane? Is Tajane gone? Oh man, I think her. she left. Yeah. Uh, she left. Yeah. Anyone I didn't ask? I didn't ask. What I didn't ask? Um, I think Grace. Because Grace has um 
Three sides of my kitchen screens. Can you hear me? Can she text me in the group if she can speak? Um, Grace, can you hear me? Text inside the chat. Let me know if you could hear me. Text inside the chat. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to... Excuse me, Mr. T. Mm -hmm. I have... What's your favorite word? Out of the five? Yes, sir. Uh, my favorite word? Wait, give me one moment. Hello? Um, my favorite word out of the five, that is a tough question, to be honest. Um, I like monogamous because it sounds interesting. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put some pictures in the chat. I mean, I'm going to put some pictures on the screen and you're going to type inside the chat, which word out of the five words is it? All right. Uh, you ready? Y'all ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. All right. all right. All the best. So first picture. What word in the chat represents this? Symbolism. Ah, uh, put it in the chat. Put it in the chat. Put it in the chat. Don't say it out. Put it in the chat. Let me hear. Let me um see what y'all have. What word represents this? Make sure it's spelled right. Thank you, Najara. I see Najara. I see Wynette. I see Gianna. Asia. Maya. Who else hasn't who hasn't answered yet? Um Grace. Hannah. Okay. Legacy. All right, what you what word did y'all put? Let me hear. Symbolism. 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 Excuse but, me, Mr. Petit. Uh-huh. Were our parents have to take a picture of this work? Um, not yet. Not yet. Once we finish this. Excuse okay. me, Mr. Titi. I wanna know why. Why you picked this as symbolism? Um, because like art, art like because it's said, a different symbol that like means something. Showing. That mm -hmm. it's different symbols. Yeah, different symbols. Yeah. And oh. uh, Najara, you finish? Anything else? Uh, yes, sir. and you were showing us the peace sign and. Yeah, exactly. Next up, put the answer inside the chat. What um word is this? What word is this? Put the answer inside the chat. What word is this? Again, put your hands inside the chat. What word is this? What word does this represent? What word does this represent? Thank you, Legacy. Thank you, Gianna. Thank you, Najara, Asia, Grace. What word is this? Thank you, Brandon. Um, and thank you, Wynette. Very good. What word did y'all choose? Monogamous. 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 Very good. Monogamous. Um, Tajane, can you hear us? Yes, sir. What happened? My laptop went dead. Okay. So you have to make sure to charge your devices, okay? Yes, sir. Okay, next word. Put your hands inside the chat for me. Um, hope you all get this one. It's a tough one. And we're off. Put your hands inside the chat. What word does this represent? Put your hands inside the chat, please. What words does this picture represent? Put your hands inside the chat. Thank you, Wynette. Thank you, Legacy. Thank you, Asia. Grace, Najara, Maya, Braden, um, Joel and Gianna. Come on. Tajane. I didn't see your answer. Tajane, I don't see your answer. Okay, what word did y'all choose? My own word? Conservation. 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 Leg conservation. Legacy, would give it away. How do you know it's conservation? Because conservation is about basically life and stuff, and it's outdoor and life. Yeah, it's protecting it. Excuse me, Mr. Petit. Uh-huh. My answer is under Asia Zone. Okay, okay. Let me see. Under Asia Zone. Oh, I see it. I see it now. 
Excuse me, Mr. T. Yes? Can I say my answer? Yes. Tell me how you know. Um, because, like, the natural environment and that's, like, where they speak. Uh-huh. So you you try and, and you see and you see the person's hand there like it's like they caring for it right, so they trying to protect yes, it. Next word or next picture. What is this? What is this? Put your hands inside the chat. What is this? All right. All right. Thank you. Um, Tajne, Winnet, Hannah, Legacy. Shiana, um, Najara, and Asia. What word you all have? Contrast. 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 Very good. And finally? I put contrast because of the difference. Exactly. And finally, last but not least. Excuse me, Mr. Petit. Sorry you're right for this one you could have put yin and yang. for this one you could have put it again yin and yang yin and yang yes, okay. all right next up i think that's the last that's all our words are there any words oh the last one Ooh, ooh. Mm. do you all know what this one is what is this ariel what the answer inside the chat ariel what do, what does this represent? Ariel. 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 This represents the view. Ariel. It oh. shows the view. Because right. of the view. Because, because of the view, right? Right? Because yes, the view up in the air. Very good. It's the view in the air. I feel like this is a drone that got a picture of this. That could be a drone. Or it could be someone in an actual airplane. That would have been actually cool. Okay, now it's time to read the story. So... Um, the story is about so all this all, all of these words are going to be a part of the story. Monogamous, conservation, contrast, aerial, and symbolism. We're going to be talking about the bald eagle. The bald eagle. Go ahead. Um Can I read it? Yeah, we're gonna you everyone gets gonna get a chance to read. Um go ahead. Um go ahead. Um Legacy, read the first paragraph. The bald eagle, American's majestic bird. The bald eagle, the bald eagle is a powerful bird of prey known for its striking appearance and significant symbol, symbol, symbolism. Mm -hmm. Is one of the most recognizable birds in North America. It is not only the national bird of symbol of the United States, but also a key figure in various culture, cultural, cultural traditions. Very good. Maya, bald eagles. Bald eagles are most noted for their brown, white heads and tails, which contrast dramatically with their dark brown bodies and wings. Despite their name, bald eagles are not actually bald. The term bald comes from an old English word, balding, meaning white. These majestic birds have a wingspan ranging from about 6 to 7.5 feet, making them one of the largest raptors in North America. Very good. Wynette? Pardon? Your turn, these birds. Hold on. Read this paragraph for me, these birds. These birds prefer to live near large bodies of open water, such as lakes, marshes, and coasts where fish are ab abundant. 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 Fish. Well, hold on. My thing not in a bit slow. Okay make up the majority of their diet, but they will also eat small mammals, other birds, and... Carry on. Carry on. Bald eagles are 
known for their incredible hunting skill, which includes swooping down at their great speed and snatching fish right out of the water with their sharp talons. Talents. Thank you. And Najara, Bald Eagles Build. Bald Eagles Build's enormous nest called Eries. At the top, tops of large trees or on high cliffs. These nests are re reused and added to a year and after year and can become massive in size. Some are over eight feet in diameter and weigh as much as a ton. Thank you, Brandon. Next paragraph, a fascinating aspect. A fascinating aspect of the bald eagle's life is its mating behavior. Bald eagles are mono monogamous, 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 meaning they they pair for life. During the mating season, these birds perform dramatic aerial displays, aerial aerial displays, including the stunning courtship flight which involves locking the tail on with each air talents air talents with each other in midair and spinning downwards towards the earth very good asia in the 20th century in the 20th century the bald eagle faced severe threats, threats from hunting habit destruction Habitat destruction and the effects of the pesticide pesticide DDT by the 1960s the species was in danger of ex extinction extinction in in the continental continental United States. However, due to illegal protection, including the 1972 ban on DDT and efforts, efforts in con conservation and wildlife rehabilitation, rehabilitation for eagle pop populations have rebounded. Rebounded. Rebounded in 2007, the bald eagle was officially removed from the U.S. Federal list. Federal list of endangered <laughs> species, though it continues to be protected under the Ball and Golden Eagle Protection Act and the Migratory. Migratory bird. Treaty. Treaty. Eight. Act. Act. Thank you. Tajane, today. Wait one moment. Wanette, please look at the screen. Stop um, playing with that thing. Um, Tajane, on, on today. Today, the bald eagle stands not only as a symbol of the United States, but also as... I can't see that letter as a successful example of environmental recovery and conservation. Thank you. Who did not get a chance to read? Did not. Gianna? Go ahead, read this um, paragraph, Gianna. Today, the bald eagle stands not only as a symbol of the United States, but also as a su successful example of environmental recovery and conservation. Very good. All right, let's go ahead and answer the questions based on this. I am going to put the, I'm going to put the passage inside the chat for you. Um, we're going to write down the questions as well as the options and choose the correct answer. The first question says, what is the main reason bald eagles are called bald eagles? 
Number two says, where, when do bald eagles, where do bald eagles prefer to live? Number three, what is the primary diet of bald eagles? And number four, what are the nests of bald eagles called? All right, so go ahead and answer these questions for me. Again, go ahead and answer these questions for me. Let me put the... Excuse me, sir. Uh-huh. I don't see the passage in the chat. Yeah, I'm going to do it right now. Yes, sir. Um, Joel, what number you on? Joel, what number you on? Number one. Number one. I'm Braden, what number you on? Number one. Number one. Um, I'm putting the passage right in the chat for you. And Legacy, can you see it? One second, let me check. Oh, it's still black for you. I can see it. Okay. All right, do you see the passages in the chat? Yes, sir. Okay, okay good. All right. And oh. When you when you when you all send in your work, please send in the vocabulary words as well. Again, when you all send in your work with the answers, please send in the vocabulary words as well. You understand me? Um Maya? Yeah. Yes, yes, sir. Good. Bonnet, what number you on? Two. Number two, okay. And um, Asia, what number you on? I'm on number 1B. 1B, okay. Tajani, what number you on? Tajani, what number you on? Tajanay, can you hear me? Where's Tajanay? I don't think she can hear you. I don't think she can hear me either. Braden, what number you on? We're about to go on number two. Okay. And Grace, can you type inside the chat with number one? Or if you could speak, let me know. It's working. I'm just trying to get my headphones stuck in that so I could hear you a little bit better. Just me I, I think they did. Okay. Yes, yeah, Taj, I'm on number two. Writing okay, down the answers. All right, Excuse Taj, me. You. I'm yes. on number two. Who's that speaking? Excuse me. That's me. 
I'm on number two. Who's that speaking? Legacy. Oh, Legacy. Okay. Excuse me, Mr. Batte. Uh huh. She said her mic is not working. Okay, thank you. And the jar, when I'm beyond. I'm on number two. I was just reading the passage of it. When at what number you on? Three. Number three. Um, Maya Hilton, what number you on? I'm on number three. Number three. Okay. I suppose you missed the particular. Mm -hmm. Was there only four paragraphs? What do you mean? Oh, you have to scroll up. You have to scroll up because some person's comment on it. I'm on number three, Mr. Petit. Number three, that's good. I'm on number three, too. Yeah. Excuse me, Mr. Petit. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me now? I, I can hear you. Uh -huh. Number three, circle, circle two, and second one. Yes. Say it again. Circle two or just circle one? For number what? Three. Just one. I'm on number four, Mr. Petit. No problem. Number four. Okay, that's good. I'm almost done. I'm on number four. All right. Oh, yeah. 
Excuse me, Mr. Betty. Yes. I'm on number four. Okay, no problem. Okay, I'm done. You finish? Take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. I'm done too. All right. Take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. Please include. Please include. Um, please include the notes as well. Yes. Sir. Um, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp again. Take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. Um, I'm going to get my phone to send it to you, Mr. T. That's good. I'm going to send it right now. Good. My mom is in home, so I sent it in the chat. Excuse me, Mr. Petit. I'm done and I'm about to send you my work. All right. Um, for those of you, thank you, Legacy. For those of you who are finished, please do the extended exercise. 
I need you to type it inside the chat. Type, type it inside the chat. So for the extended exercise, I want you to write a summary based on the passage. It should be a paragraph long and it should highlight the main idea of the story. So Gianna, since you're finished, um, uh, I sent it to you, Mr. Petit. Did you see it? Um, yes, yes, yes. I see it. So just write a paragraph. Write a paragraph. What happened in the story? Yeah, write a, write a paragraph with a summary on the story, yeah. yes. For those of you who are finished. Like, are we, like we're making up like a story about it? No, 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 no. Write a, write a summary of the story. So you, you know what the story is, so write a summary of it. Is. Excuse me, Miss Petit, I sent it. Did you see it? Let me see. Um. Mm. I see, I see, this is very neat. This is very neat legacy. I, um, I, uh, I don't see, I don't see, um, the second, I don't see three and four. I don't see three and four. Sorry, I'm, I'm about to turn the page. I'm about to send that. Excuse me. Go ahead. So we're basically doing a summary about bald eagles or the passage. A summary of the passage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Yes. And you have to type it in the chat. It's busy. I send you my work and uh so after Gianna, I can just start writing. Um yes, type inside the well, you could write you could write yours in the thing um you could write yours in um Excuse me, Mr. Petit. You I could write to... yours. You could write yours in um you could write yours in your book. Since she's typing. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Should I write it inside of the um the chat? Yeah, you're typing in the chat, yes. Excuse me. Finish. Go ahead, um, Tajani. Is that thing in the chat? Look at it, it's in the chat. You should be able to see I don't it. See it, that's why. Look look at it. Look at it again. I think I just joined that. I reposted it. Check now. I'm I'm Braden. I still number four. You still don't see it? Yes, you still don't see it? You still don't see it? No, sir. Uh Taj and I'm finished. Okay, take a bit of your consent to me. Tajana, do you see it now? Tajana, nope. do you know? Yes, no. Okay. Um, basically, it's just a summary. So that's all that is. So write a summary on the, on the passage. That's all. Um, Legacy, are you writing your summary? Yes, sir. Okay. Good. Um, Maya, are you writing your summary? Maya, are you writing the summary? Maya Hilton, can you hear me? Um, Wynette, are you writing the summary? Yes, sir. Okay, where are you writing it? Where are you typing it? Pardon? Where are you typing it? In the chat. 
okay and legacy yes sir um are you writing the summary yes sir i'm writing in the chat okay good Um, where is Asia? Asia. Excuse me. I'm in my work right tip. now. Okay, that's good. good. Excuse me, Mr. T. Go ahead. Can you hear me? I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. Um... Where is uh Maya Hilton? Can you hear me? <laughs> Maya Hilton, can you hear me? Where's Maya Hilton? Maya Hilton, can you hear me? I don't know if Mike could hear me. Oh, I thought Mike is working. Um, Excuse me, Mr. Petit. Uh huh, go ahead. Did you see my work? I did. Excuse me. Can you put the um, story back in the chat for me, please? Okay, no problem. Um, anyone that's finished with their summary? Anyone that's finished with it? Almost. Almost. Excuse me. Uh huh. What's what is what bit? Failed. What do you mean? A meaning in the story. What is what? It did say the term false comes from an old English word, failed. Baldy. Baldy meaning white. I mean, it's white. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. All right, Asia, I see it. Excuse me, Mr. T. Uh huh. We're just writing what happened in the story, right? There's a summary of it. All right, you all have three, four more minutes for the summary, and then I need you to post what you have in, in the chat. Four more minutes for the summary. Yeah, I'll take forever on this. Four more minutes on the summary. Just four more minutes. So you're writing a summary. A summary is a you're trying to encapsulate everything what happened. You you are bringing it together. Tell me what's the main idea, what's the story about, right? You're not explaining every single thing. You're just giving me a brief synopsis of what happened. Bye. 
I'm done. You're done? Okay, take a bit. Um, send your send it inside the chat, please. Can I read it? Not yet. Joel, where's Joel? He's right here. Are you finished with it? All right, three more minutes for the summary and then we're gonna wrap that up. Three more minutes. Um. So basically the story is about a bald eagle. The name says- bald. Um, Excuse me, bald. sorry. A bald day on noted for their white hair. Um, so basically the story is about a bald eagle. The name says bald, but isn't bald. The word bald, bald is a English word for baldy. And I know it for their white head. And it's just a routine. Um, Tiana, that's not a summary. A summary is when you tell me what the story is about. So you, you tell me it's about a bald eagle. What else? It's about, so you can't just talk, start talking about the English word baldy. So don't do that. So you try, when you, when you write in a summary of the tell me, um, what it's about. So the story is about a bald eagle. Where do they live? What do they eat? What are they a symbol of, right? That's what you basically have to do in your summary. All right, one more minute for the summary, and then you'll have to send what you'll have. One more minute. One more minute. The undulating water east. Um, Andre, uh, Asia, you finish? Quickly approached, using his That's skills it. and techniques to pull the boy onto his kayak. Um, um, what is that playing in the background? Asia? That's my mom's phone because she's sitting on the side of me. Oh, okay. Okay, I need you to send in your summary, please. Ready or not, just send what you have. Just send what you have. Grace, send what you have. Brayden. Sorry, my keyboard kept glitching out for some reason. I don't know what was up with that. Um, Wynette, please send what you have. Majara. Um, where's Tajane? Tajane, where are you? Is Tajane here? I'm sending it. You send what you have, a legacy, send what you have. I did. Okay. All right. Okay, Maya, please send what you have. Okay, so when I say a summary, I don't mean I don't mean just take from the passage and lift and just say whatever the passage say. That's not what I mean by a summary. A summary means use your own words. That's what a summary means. Okay, so let's go ahead and answer these questions first and then we're gonna get to the summary. All right, what is the main reason why bald eagles are called bald eagles? What's the main reason? I it co bald comes from an old English an word. English word that, that is bald. Um, that number bald. one, we're number one, we're number one, we're number one. B. B. B, B definitely. B. I put B. Definitely I put B. B. They have white heads and they have white heads and tails. Good. Where do bald eagles prefer to live? Near bodies of, Near bodies of water. water. Near bodies of water. Bodies. D. All right, good. Please put a tick if you got it right. 
Peace politic if you got it right. What is the primary diet of bald eagles? Fish. I put fish. 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 All right. Um, what are the nests of bald oh, eagles called? Iris. Iris. Very good. He's a bald Okay. Yes, Tajani. Um, I accidentally private chatted you when you sent me tried to send me thing. I still see it. I still still see it. Okay. So for y'all, um, for your summary, um, I don't see legacy summary. I sent it twice. Have you ever heard about Maya? Have you ever heard of people think, oh, uh, but the real meaning they have, uh, well, they go stay in there, but it's a water primary that is my answer. Because the bond, all the egos, is good enough. Um. Okay, you sent it already, Legacy? Yes, sir. I don't see it. I'll send it again. Okay. Okay, so when I ask for a summary, that's what I mean. So let me, let me show you an example of a summary. So you all tried, but the problem with you is, um, the problem with you all is that you all using the exact words from the passage. So a summary means, Tell me what it's about in your own words. So if, if someone had never read the passage and they say, tell me what the passage is about. I don't want you to get into any details, but just tell me what the passage is about, right? So we can say the passage is about all eagles, right? Right? Yes, in, the, in the passage, we can say the passage. Yes, can you see it now? Let me see. Uh, yes, all the eagles are very powerful birds. The nest is da da da. I saw yours. Um, I saw yours. Um, my as well. So the passage about all eagles in the passage, what they talk about? Well, we look basically at the talks passage. about the what they what they eat. So they talk about. How they eat, how they were protected from uh -huh. a group call. Uh huh. So, where so, they live. So, the past is about, the past is about a significant bird in North America called what? Bald eagle. Bald eagle. Right. In the passage, or we could say the passage explained. Do you want us to write this down in our no, books? No, you don't write it down. I just showing you how the summary look. The passage explained. Um details about about what? The eagles what? The eagles. The eagles life. The eagles like uh, what? The there, we learned about their, their nest. We learned about like how they look, their culture. right? How they look, what they eat, right? Um, their, their hunting skills. We learned about their habitats. We learned about their what else? We learned about their mating behaviors. Right up. So the past explain details about the eagles. The ball eagles what? Way of life. They are what? Appearance. What else? The way they um. Where they have their nests. Where they usually stay. Their they habitat, eat. right? Their diet. Their habitat. Their diet. Their diet. And they are what? Mating. What behaviors? Yeah. Right. A central. Um. So, what was the main idea? You can find the main idea at the at the end. That the bald eagle stands for the symbol of the United States, an example of environmental recovery and conservation. So, you could say that the main idea of 
the, the passage was to show how bald eagles population. So it went down and then it went back up, right? Mm -hmm. Declined and then increased, which showed the benefits of conservation. Indeed, the bald eagle is a symbol for the United States. And for what else is a symbol for? They Excuse say me, for restoration of wildlife, okay? So this is a good example of what I was looking for. You, you don't wanna explain every detail, right? You just wanna talk about in general what it, what it, what it's talking about. So I said, the passage, is, the passage is about a significant bird in North America called the bald eagle. The passage explained details about the bald eagle's appearance, their habitat, their diet, and their mating behaviors. The main idea of the passage was to show how bald eagles Population decline and then increase, which showed the benefits of conservation. Indeed, the bald eagle is a symbol for the United States and for restoration of wildlife. So this is a, a rough summary that shows you how to do a summary. Like you don't have to explain every single detail. You just want to talk about it in general. So if someone would ask you, oh, what is this story about? You can tell them what it is without giving them all the details and all the facts, just giving them a brief synopsis of what's about. Okay. Um uh how many persons got all right for the for the for the, the um for this one i did i got i, got I did all right. I got we got it right. okay good so I hopefully got all right okay so hopefully when we do the summary again we could be better at that all right see y'all tomorrow and have a good evening take care everyone bye bye, 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 bye have a good day have a good evening take care